Good morning, Belen. I'm Nick Carvajal. And I'm Mark Novus. Welcome to this edition of WBLN. Here are your news for today, December 1st, 2015. Last week, the Belen community packed about 100 boxes of food for three parishes, Jesu, St. Dominic, and St. Michael. In addition, the three parishes received $1,000 in gift cards plus 23 cards of unknown amounts. This could have not been done without the student support. Congratulations to all. The members of the Respect Life Club also gave back to the community along with students from Lourdes and Columbus. They, li they delivered food door to door for the Sacred Heart out Outreach Mission. You're invited to join us for a special symposium tonight from 7.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. to mark the 50th anniversary of the conclusion of the Second Vatican Council and of Nostra Aetate, a landmark document that ushered in a new era in interreligious relations, especially between the Jews and the Christians. The University of Chicago has canceled all classes and activities on its Hyde Park campus today due to the online threat. The FBI says someone posted a threat of gun violence, specifically mentioning the campus quad Monday morning. All non-medical faculty students and non-essential staff are being asked not to come to the Hyde Park campus or to remain indoors as much as possible if they, can't, if they are on campus. The Climate Change Summit takes place in Paris this week, and many naturalists are hoping leaders will come up with an international plan to limit global warming. The summit comes just after weeks, after a series of devastating terror attacks targeting the French capital. Obama says combating climate change now will, prov will prove to be a rebuttal of terrorist efforts. We salute the people of Paris for insisting this crucial conference go on. An act of defiance that proves nothing will deter us from building the future we want for our children. What greater rejection of those who would tear down our world than marshalling our best efforts to save it? Obama is mixing his climate message with meetings on fighting the terror group ISIS during his stay in Paris. Yesterday, the president laid a single white rose outside the nightclub where 90 people died during the attacks. Pope Francis is wrapping up his three-nation African tour in the war torn Central African Republic. The pontiff visited a mosque where he urged peace between Christians and Muslims. His visit to the Central African Republic marks his first trip to an active war zone. Well, guys, it's getting closer and closer to midterms, and there's still a lot going on. Let's take a look at who's meeting this week. Now stay tuned as we bring you weather and sports right after these messages. Morning, but let's take a look at your map for today. It's looking pretty clear right now, but it's going to be partly cloudy throughout the rest of the day. It's looking at our highs and lows for today. Today's going to be high of 82, low of 74, relative humidity at 75%, winds east at 11 miles per hour, morning showers, and precipitation at 30%. Let's take a look at highs and lows for the next three days. Wednesday's going to be high of 83, low of 73, with 20% chance of precipitation. Thursday's high of 82. Low 72 with a chance of 80% chance 
of precipitation, and Friday, highs 80, 78, low 72, with a 60% chance of precipitation. And that's the way it is. Welcome back, guys. Let's get, let's get you caught up on what's been happening. In soccer last week, Belen took on arch rival Columbus here at home. Tavis Rice scored two goals, Frank in la camera scored one goal and had an assist, and Rodrigo Bandiero scored one goal. Alu Pujols and Jose Jimenez combined for the shutout. Final score was Belen 4, Columbus 0. Belen, now, Belen is now 10 0 and 1 on the season. This past Saturday, the team hit the pitch one more time to take on Ransom. Belen won with a score of 1. Ransom zero. Javon Rice had one goal. Frank and Camera recorded the assist, and Abu Jaws had seven saves and recorded another shutout. Belen is now a, has a record of 11 wins and one loss. The varsity soccer team will host Terra at 3:30 p.m. in the Thanksgiving tournament. The varsity basketball team lost 61-69 to Lehigh in a game where Danny Romero scored 25 points and Alec Rodriguez had 10. Belen also beat Charlotte 54-50 in, in this game. Danny Romero scored 15 points and AJ Consuegra scored nine points. The Junior Varsity basketball team participated in the Island Coast Tournament during the Thanksgiving break. In the first game, the team defeated Naples High School by the score of 39 to 22. In the second game, the team defeated Gulf Coast High School in a very tough fought game by the score of 45 to 44. In the championship game, the team lost to Charlotte High School by the score of 35 to 20. The leading scorers throughout the entire tournament were Jonathan Bardich with an average score of 12 points per game and Christian Tinoco with 8 points per game. The middle school gold basketball team will host Everglade City at 3.45 p.m. The freshman basketball team will host Everglade City at 6.30 p.m. The international soccer star David Beckham has given up on the approval process to build a major league soccer stadium near Martins Park. The Miami City Commissioner Francis Suarez confirmed to NBC6 that Beckham ha Stadium's deal has been taken off the city commission agenda for now. Sources say that Beckham is also giving up on the approval to build the city, to build in the city of Miami, but this does not mean he is not looking somewhere else in South Florida. Originally, Beckham placed two bids for a downtown waterfront location. Both attempts have failed. In other news, the Miami Dolphins have fired offensive coordinator Bill Lazor after Sunday's 38-20 loss to the New York Jets. The team confirmed the news, first reported by Sports Illustrated and NBC Sports, in a statement, released Monday morning. The team says quarterbacks coach Zach Taylor will temporarily take over the play calling duties. That's all for sports. Now back to you guys. Thank you, Frankie. Be sure to follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook for all the latest news and pictures. I'm Nick Carvajal. And I'm Mark Novis. From everyone here at WBLN, thanks for watching and stay golden, Wolverines.